welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Okay, so here's uh, just a few little announcements before we get started. I will never reach out to anybody for a reading, um, not on any social media venue, not on anything. If you are interested in a reading, please contact me um, either through my business number or my uh, website, which is tonig.info and my business number, which um, is 414-897-2869. I do not give email or text readings at all, not even to my clients who have been to me before. The way my readings work is you either show up in my office or you call me on the phone. Don't get scammed. There's a lot of scammers out there. Don't get scammed. If you would like a reading, um, that is how it works with me. I am not the type of person to say, I'm going to email your reading uh, or let me tell you uh, when you call or we have a session, it is a session where you are asking me the questions about your life that are the most important or connecting with the relatives or loved ones on the other side that are most important to you. Okay, having said that, you can connect with me on social media via, um, I'm on Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram, and right here on YouTube. You can watch this show on many streaming stations, most podcasts, Rude Rangers TV, WSCS, and YouTube, <laughs> YouTube. And you can also, um, I don't know, there's there's just a lot of announcements that I don't take notes of that I should. I'm the author of seven books. They're available on Amazon.com. Um, and all of this information is also available on my website. So I want to say hi to Stevie. Hey, Stevie, I hope you're having a good day today. Um, and now, here we go. I am going to be taking a lot, as many possi as possible callers today. And when I do take a caller, I'll say your area code. Please let me know what's your name, where you're calling from, and uh, uh, your question or connection. And please make your question kind of pinpoint and clear because I am on a time frame here. And I do try to get to as many callers as possible. Um, if you're listening, if you're watching on YouTube and you've posted a question, I'm going to be getting to your questions very soon. Now, if you would like to ask your question on air or if you're watching the show and you would like to join the show live, you can join the show live every Monday and or Wednesday at noon central on YouTube or by calling in 845-277-9131. I think I've said just about everything I need to say. Okay, real quick. Um, hey, Terry, Heather. Um, oh, my my Siri is going to kick in because I just heard it. Hi. No, no. I don't even know where that. You'll need to unlock your iPad first. <laughs> They're always listening. That's all I can say. And I just lost my chat. I don't know what what I did on YouTube. I'm so sorry, everybody. I just it just went full screen. I don't know how to fix that. I am not a techie, not a techie at all. Um, so I have. Oh, there. I don't know what I did. I, I, I don't think I did anything. I think somebody's, I've got a ghost in the machine. I don't even know. Okay. Um, we're going to start with a clearing and this clearing is going to be for self-love this morning because, well, I think we all need a little self-love. So all, um, a self-love. Okay, here we go. We love ourselves unconditionally. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Ooh, and then throughout the show, I'll be doing a number of other clearings. Um, I did some uh, clearings and uploaded them this morning on TikTok, my TikTok 
page is at Psychic Tony. So if you want to go there for those clearing, you can go right ahead and do that. And all of that, there are 60 seconds or less. Okay. So uh, Heather wants to know, should she stay at her current position or go to another one um, in the company? The new position she has heard is more stressful, um, but better money. Okay, so the new position is a little bit more stressful. That is accurate. However, what you know, that all depends on what level of stress each person can handle. And of course, if you're getting paid more, sometimes some things do come, you're getting paid more because of what you're expected to deal with. Heather, can, can Heather handle this stress? Yeah, I think after six months, it'll get pretty annoying for you and you won't want to anymore, but you will be able to handle it. So in the end, you'll be happier where you are if you stay where you are. However, if you take the new position after six months, you can also um, relocate again in the company if you need to step back into the position that you have or go into a different position with the company. That's kind of a personal call that you would like, you would need to make, but um, you can handle the stress for at least six months. That's what I'm getting on that. Okay. Um, I am going to, hopefully this is going to work this time when I go to do this. Uh, hey, Fawn. Hey, Terry. Okay, Terry wants to know, um, she's doing, okay, Terry's doing her practical exams and she's feeling pretty stressed. So anybody taking tests, exams, practicals, written, speak, whatever they are, we're going to clear that now to, uh, we are going to pass. I'm getting a note. I, I get it. I'm going to clear that. Not you, Terry, personally, not you personally. I'm just getting in general information. Uh, we are going to ace these. I'm getting a yes. Let's uh, strengthen that. That's a big one, folks. Okay. And then um, goodness gracious is, holy cow, goodness gracious is, I just lost it, is taking a trip and to uh, Mount Rushmore and um, the great Tetons, Tetons, I don't know, a T Tetons, I'm just going to say that. Is it going to be, um, do you see anything about this trip? If I do go, it'll be good. It'll be good. It will be a, a really good experience. Okay, those are the online questions that I have answered so far. Um, I want to say hi to Lolly Genevieve. Hey, Kavita. Hi, um, Caroline. Love you, Lolly. Again. Um, here's what I'm going to say, folks. If you're on YouTube and you have a question and I'm not able to get to your question, please do call in 845-277-9131. It's a little easier for me when you ask me the question and I can just answer it than trying to read while I'm on air. And anybody who watches the show on TV, um, people are in the chat asking questions and then I have to read your question and answer it. Um, otherwise, the people listening or watching won't won't know the question. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go directly to the caller. So five five one five five one. What's your name? Where are you calling Sorry, from? Jennifer. Jennifer from New Jersey. Hey Jennifer. Um, yeah. Do you have any messages for me? Can you do mediumship reading or no? Do I have to pick a certain topic? Okay. Or... So I well, in the beginning of the show. Anybody's coming from. Okay, so I'm going to say this again, folks. Um, one more time for the people in the back, please pay attention. If I call out your area code, give me your name and your number. Uh, I'm not your name and your number, your name and where you're calling from. And then if you have, uh, you can ask a question or you can connect with a loved one from the other side. If you have a question, please make that question specific. I'm not here to give 30 minute readings that you book. OK, second, if you um, want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please give me their name and their relationship to you. If you want me to tell you what everybody on the other side has to say, again, book a reading. This is one question, one connection, which is, by the way, pretty generous doing it twice a week for free. OK, um, so please be prepared with your question and 
or connection. I'm going to go to 361. 361, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Linda and I'm calling from Texas. Thank you so much for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. How can I help you today, Linda? Well, I've been having extreme issues and a lot of pain with my hip for the past three months. And I tried chiropractic and this last visit, which was about four weeks ago, he fractured a rib and I stopped going and I'm still, I'm recovered from the rib, but I'm still having issues with, with the hip. Okay. So first, um, um, can you give me any insight into my right hip? Yeah. And you know what I'm going to tell you? I, there's, there's like two or three things I'm getting. The first thing is that you are, um, chiropractic. I'm, I'm sorry that happened with you. And I do. I love chiropractic. Um, I'm getting that there's some tra trauma stored there. So when we have trauma, sometimes we, we hold on to it in the hip area and in between the hip area. Doesn't mean something happened there. That's just where we hold trauma. So I'm going to start doing a clearing for trauma right now for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. Here we go. Huh. And then uh, the second thing I'm getting is it is... I know th this doesn't make sense to me, but it's, I hear ball joint, ball joint. And what I'm getting is when you sit, sit the opposite way that you normally sit and also um, lie down in, in bed or on the floor or where, wherever, and sh like slowly move your hips up and down, like, um, yeah, just up and down. I don't know how else to say that. And then the last thing I'm hearing is um, this has something possibly to do with your grind muscles also. And the grind muscles can, when they tighten up, they can affect that hip and low back area. So this is what I'm hearing. So what I would recommend is as you're lying on your back, uh, go into frog position and allow your, and frog for you people, for people, for those of you who aren't familiar with frog position, it's just um, bringing your feet up and bending your knees and letting your, your legs kind of fall out when you're on your back. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other definitions for frog position that we will not go into right now. Um, frog position um, on your back is just like uh, bending your knees with your feet up and then letting those knees fall out. Um, you can do it one at a time or both knees at the same time. And again, go very slowly with it. Be very slow with your movements. You're not trying to move very quickly here, but we're going to go one more time on the clearing for trauma. And if anybody feels this, please let me know if you're on YouTube and you're feeling this, please absolutely 100% let me know. Here we go. All trauma has been released from the hip and um, that area. I get a no. Here we go again. And we're going to continue to release that. What I am also getting is um, that ball joint just needs to be a little bit more stabilized moving forward. I know that nobody wants to necessarily go, go through the orthopedic surgeon route of this. Um, you may need to look at and I'm, I'm not a doctor, obviously, let's see how it works with releasing the trauma and then um, slowly rebuilding that area and stretching out that groined muscle if you can. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. I will, I will implement those suggestions. I appreciate it very much. Absolutely. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I look forward to uh, next time. Okay, sweetie? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you are welcome. Absolutely my pleasure. I'm going to go to 908. 908, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, this is Caroline from the East Coast. Hey, Caroline. How are you today? I'm great. And how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. How can I help you today, love? Well, 
I would love to get a message from either my daddy, his name is Joaquin, or my grandma, Eliza. And is there anything that I can do about my energy as I can't seem to focus okay. on my project? Okay, so the first thing, let's 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 work on everybody's energy all together um so i'm doing some clearings just like we are clear we are unclear and clearing those right right away and thank you for bringing that up the next thing that i'm getting um about your project and your grandmother is actually here and the first thing i'm hearing is you need to try to get <laughs> this uh, um a co more um, quality sleep. So it's not about the, uh, you might be going to sleep or s sleeping, but you're not yeah. getting that deep REM sleep or that really good, like it's something with your sleep. So what I'm hearing is you need to get quality sleep. Um, one thing that some people use to help them sleep is magnesium. If you're, if you're not using that uh, magnesium, uh, relaxes the central nervous system muscles. Um, it also helps with um, yeah. with focus. So I would recommend a really good magnesium and getting really good sleep. If you feel like you need to nap, absolutely 100%. Take those naps. Um, don't don't worry about it. Um, you know, and do the best you can to do the best you can. I feel like your focus is going to come back within a week. I feel like Friday is going to be a really good day. It has been extremely chaotic for everybody and everything. Um, so please uh, know that. And the energy hopefully will be a little bit more focused and calm as of Friday. So let's see how that goes. And I hope that this is helpful for you. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank my grandma, Eliza, as well. I needed this so badly, Tony. Thank you. I'll let oh. you go to the next person. I appreciate you and love you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And it's absolutely my pleasure. Thank you for joining me here today. And thank you for calling in. And I'm so grateful they could come through for you. I am going to go directly to uh, YouTube. Sal asked, can you do a clearing for kidneys? Cal, Sal, Cal, kidneys and Sal combined into one. Sal, you know what? I'm going to do a clearing for health. We are healthy. I get a no. We're going to clear that. So one of the things I learned early on is um, our kidneys are in distress because of something else. So we want to get to the root of whatever is causing the health issue. So for example, if you have a thyroid issue, yes, the thyroid is problematic, but something either outside of your control or within your body caused that thyroid problem or that kidney problem. And that would be um, so if you're in Eastern medicine, they believe like uh, um, kidneys are associated. I think it's with fear. Um, thyroid is associated, obviously, with voice because it's it's here um, in your throat. Um, but if you're going to different um, like belief systems, it can be that you're not using your voice enough or your whatever it is. So what I'm going to do is just for you, Sal, everybody listening, re-listening, and this one's so important. It's at like the 19 minute of the sh 19 minute mark of the show. We're going to do, um, we are healthy. I get a no, we're going to clear that. All that has caused our health problems have cleared and healed. I get a no, we're going to clear and heal that. You guys, it doesn't, even if it's not something within me, it, it when I'm clearing, the, I feel it for you guys. So, oh, <laughs> um, there's something stopping or blocking this from healing. I get a no, we're going to strengthen that. So 
if you need to come back and re-listen to this for any part or anytime anything, you know, health wise is compromised, please do feel free to do that. I want to say hey to Patrick and Genevieve again and Lotus Siren. Hey, um, Kate, hey Kate and Jennifer. Um, if I miss saying hi to you, please forgive me. It's it's not my intention to miss saying hello to anybody who is so wonderful and on um, YouTube joining the show. Also, it's, um, there are so many people that listen to the show after that they can't join us. And I want to say hi to all of them also that are pretty, pretty awesome at um, listening to this, the show, Cindy and Jessica. Um, I can see your face, but I can't. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, dun dun dun. I, it'll come back to me. But um, now all the names of all the people are totally, <laughs> totally blanking out. Um, and that is crazy because <laughs> because one of them, I Cheryl. Cheryl is one. I was texting her last night and this morning too. So that is ridiculous to me. Um, Sandy. Okay, so now all the names are starting to come back to me. I'm so sorry, everybody. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller who is 203203. How are you today? How can I help you? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Michelle from Georgia. Hey, Michelle. How, how can I so, help you, love? Um. I wanted to know, um, I applied for a patent, and I wanted to know how you thought um, the idea would do. Okay, so you're going to get the patent. You are going to have to make one or two tweaks a little bit more, uh, even though you try to keep a patent a little bit open-ended. Um, they're going to want you to, I'm hearing, kind of tweak one of the definitions or make something in the patent just a little bit more defined. I think the product is going to do well. You have to do a grassroots, um, like a grassroots campaign with this product, meaning a grassroots used to mean obviously like kind of hitting the hit, hit the ground running. Um, I'm hearing this at uh, grassroots now is more social media, getting on social media having people you know get on social media um, sort of thing. Now, I am going to say whatever grassroots means for your product, that's the route you need to go in the beginning is do a total grassroots sort of thing. I think the product is going to do well. I, out of the gate, you're going to be a little... They're using the word like disillusioned. OK, I don't know exactly what that means for your specific situation. And that that could mean a little disillusioned as to. The like the 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 cost of getting this product up and running and out or the. The way it takes off, there's just one little thing that is going to cause a little disillusionment. Once you get past that and you um, don't get frustrated by that, you overcome that, you're going to be up and running and good to go. So please, by all means, don't get discouraged, even if there is something that comes through that is a little bit um, over... I, I'm going to use the word overwhelming, although it won't be overwhelming. It'll just be something you didn't expect with this particular aspect of putting this together. I am going to say that you are going to have some good luck with this product, and that might come in around March. I hear, I hear March really loud, and then I hear February very soft. And then I hear April and I see running. So I feel like whatever comes in, if you might hear about it first, like in February, but then in March, whatever it is, is really much bigger. And then in April, it kind of moves forward in a good, steady way. 
I do, or, you know, again, hits the ground running, takes off sort of thing. Be patient. But the other word I'm really hearing for you is be extremely practical with this. Um, and somebody on the other side is laughing and saying, don't quit your day job yet. Don't quit your day job yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> and I'm laughing at that because it's, that's so true. Like we all were like, oh, I have this. I can quit my day job. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Don't quit your day job yet. Don't, don't do it yet. So there will come a time wow. when you can do that or, you know, you can depend on this practically for for survival but it's gonna take a minute to get there okay so just um and don't be frustrated by that you might have a couple sleepless nights but it will pay off in the long run okay love wow <laughs> i all I, right that's great news thank you you are so welcome and i hope this was really really helpful for you yeah, thanks. Bye. And, a, absolutely, absolutely. You have an amazing rest of the day. Um, everybody, I'm going to go to 202-614-516. Hold on, don't go anywhere. And, and I know there are a lot of callers after that, um, but please hold on. I'm going to get to you. But I, I want to do a, what I consider, uh-oh, I hope I didn't lose people. Um, what I want to do is I want to do a... Um, a really a, a clearing that's really important um, to me for people. So we all know people that we care about or that we deal with, whether it be at work or at um, in in our family or in friendships or whatever it is. And um, the relationships are complicated. So I'm going to do two quick clearings here. And the first one is for healthy relationships. And this one is on TikTok also, but we have healthy, loving relationships. Let's clear that to a yes. But the second one is that if we or someone we know has personality disorders. Now, the difference between a mental illness and a personality disorder is a mental illness can sometimes be um, medicated and balanced out a personality disorder like um, sociopathy, psychopathy, uh, narcissistic behavior, personality disorder, uh, borderline personality disorder. There really aren't medications for those. Now, I'm not accusing anybody of having these. I'm just saying we, some of us know people with these disorders. And I'm what I would like to do right now is just send a clearing to heal, release um, the personality disorders and to also clear, heal, release what, what caused these, um, what has caused this as cleared and release. I'm getting a no. <clears throat> and to, um, to, uh, yeah, do that. Um, so as those are clearing, as those are releasing, um, we're going to send this. And again, this is at about the 27, 28 minute mark of the show. So if you want to come back and listen to this and you do know somebody who is suffering with any of this, you can specifically say, angels, go to this person and heal this as needed for them. We're never in control of of somebody's destiny or how they're supposed to be here, but we can help if it's meant to be. That's the best way I can put that. I want to thank you for being here. I'll be back Wednesday at noon. And if you do want me to do a weekend day or time, please comment that. Let me know what weekend day and time works best for everybody, um, Saturday or Sunday, and at what time. I love you guys so very much. Have an amazing rest of the week.